Because uh, I know you guys want this so badly. Uh, I don't like you. Honeymoon with Dagon. I've been waiting for you, Savior Kanan. Father Dagon is waiting up ahead. Allow me to show you the way. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, thank you for coming. I have awaited your arrival. Hmm. Dagon? Which one are you? My. I see you are able to spot the difference between us with just a glance. <laughs> oh. There is no difference! From your perspective, I believe this is the first time we have met. Although, I have become quite familiar with you through the memories of Dagon of Canaan. Nice to meet you. Your my name, as you might guess, is Dagon. I bear the same name as Father Dagon of Canaan, and I am the one who lent him this body and gave life to his memories. So you're another Dagon. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dagon, a transient from the world of the Old Ones. I make a living as a marine architect. I lecture at a certain university in Tokyo in my spare time, teaching structural theory and such. A construction specialist, college lecturer of structural studies? You seem like a smart guy. Now about the other Dagon you are familiar with, Brandon. I think it is possible for you to differentiate it between the two of us. What say you? Huh? Hmm. I can faintly see you overlapping. You really can see us separately. I see. So that is how the majority is constructed. Having two sets of memories in one body seems to have been what I needed to finally get a solid sense of this. That's right. If it were a majority based on two sets of memories, one would only be able to see one set. But... With three or more individuals present, Need that hold? Hmm, I see. Interesting. Very interesting. None of this makes sense until you play the other seaside summer school event that has not been translated. I am starting to find you just as interesting as my Canaanite counterpart does, Brandon. No! What are you t huh? What are you talking about? <laughs> Sorry. If the mark of an expert is able to convey complex ideas in simple terms, I surely have a long way to go. Do not worry about it. It is something for you to be 
It is not something for you to be concerned about. Not in your current state, anyway. I am very concerned! More importantly, do you have anything to say to me? Run away. Uh... Well... I need to talk to- I want to talk to Kanan's Dagon, real quick. Yes, of course. However... I'm still here. <laughs> God dang it. Uh... Which one... Are you right now? Let me explain, Brandon. If I had to say... I would say I am both. I am Dagon of the World of the Old Ones, and yet also Father Dagon of Canaan. Perhaps it would be clearest to say that the emotions we share are now emerging to the surface together. Oh no. There is a constant vote occurring inside the closed vessel of my body, and only our shared desires become, hol become our holistic intention. Well, it would be a different story if the memories of Dagon of Canaan were to be moved and, and sealed inside a pillar. To be frank, so long as we are not looking too hard, we rarely notice the little discrepancies between us. Perhaps we two Dagons are rather similar to begin with. So much so that we could be called, to quote Astaroth, each other's past or future selves. After all, his rule and role allow him to easily perceive such things. We love and are loved together because we give love and are drowned in love. So you're the Dagon I know. The Dagon I'm speaking to right now is the same Dagon I met on that island. Thanks for helping me out. Glad you're alright. I wanted to see you again. <laughs> you certainly don't hide your affections. That wasn't affection. That was not affection! Well then, allow this Dagon to lovingly accept your words. I cannot help becoming jealous, other me. Are you perhaps unconsciously noticing the discrepancy between us? You have not forgotten our promise, have you? <laughs> Do not worry, Dagon. I remember. What's this promise? What could it- Whoa, what? <laughs> now, come here, my dear. No! There's nothing to be afraid of. Just entrust yourself to us. No! No! Help me! Holy crap! This is amazing! <laughs> when did you change clothes? This is the place where Canaan's king spoke, spoke of love and gave it life and affirmed their promises. A place to speak of love. A place to affirm promises. God dang it, I have to.
to admit it. I have to. Once again, that's one hot thud. As long as you keep the tentacles out. Stop! We cannot live without sharing our decadent love. We must be drowned and drown others in love. No! After all, that is how we are made. However, the love we would share is not just of the heart, but of the body as well. Please no. I need an adult! <laughs> Although we have two minds, we only have one vessel, one body. Therefore, we came to the conclusion that we should love the same person together. No! Hmm? Oh, this is... You're both giving me... Give these to me? Both of you? The old one's daggone too. What a surprise. Love is timeless and infinite. From the instant after meeting someone to after an etern eternity has passed, it will never fade. <laughs> These are a gift from me to you, the savior of Canaan. These are a gift from me to you, the one who unknowingly quenched my cravings. And it is also the symbol of our fraternal love, familial love, romantic love, and every other kind of love we hold for you. Fraternal love, familial love, romantic love. give you all the love we have. Any love that you desire, we will offer to you. So tell us, what kind of love do you desire from us? <laughs> what I want is, uh, what should I say? <laughs> um, speak your heart's desire, Brandon. Heart's desire is to get out of here. to be lovers <laughs> you desire the abyss of my affection are you sure you know what it is you ask I see I see yes of course that is what you wish <laughs> I hear and obey we shall love you so much that we will drown together. I will give you love and be the true and be true to that love. I was given this body by a great individual for this purpose. Now I got others a name, but its pronunciation would be impossible for any human tongue. Because apparently we can't say Cthulhu. I will give you love and be true to that love. For this is why I was born in Canaan. You would do well to be careful. You will be receiving all of my love. 
do for you do. Remember, we see no issue in giving you enough love to submerge you, corrupt you, and drown you. Ah! You will lose the ability to do anything without me as we sink into the abyss together. And I will love you all the same. I can't test how focus it at me. Now then, there is no one else here, and no reason to be wary of the gazes of others. Let us rest our weary bodies and minds and indulge in debauchery to our heart's content. I need an adult! Land of milk and honey. Um. Uh, 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 that sound effect. Um, I may need the sense of this. <laughs> 